Hello everyone, this is Preeti. We are here with the another question of exercise 9.1, page number 182, question number 8. Fill in the boxes with the correct symbol out of greater, smaller and equal. So, we are going to start with the first one. We are having 7 parts in the question. So, we are going to start with the first one. Now, in the first one, we have minus 5 by 7 and 2 by 3. Now, for the comparison, the denominator should be same for both of them. So, I am going to multiply each part with the other's denominator. So, now this is 5 3 is a 15 and 7 3 is a 21. This is 4, 7 2s are 14 and 7 3s are 21. So now this is minus 15 by 21 and this is 14 by 21. Now the denominators are same. We can compare it as we know that the negative numbers are smaller than the positive numbers. We are having 15 here but this one is negative. This is less than 0. On the number line we represent this one on the left hand side of the 0 they are smaller than the zeros so 14 represent on the right hand side so this one is greater than the 0 so that means 14 by 21 is greater so 14 by 21 is representing 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is greater than the minus 5 by 7 now comes to the part 2 in the part 2 we have minus 4 by 5 and the second one is minus 5 by 7. So the same we will do. We will multiply it by the each other's denominator. So 7 4s are 28 and 7 5s are 35. And 5 5s are 25 and 7 5s are 35. So we are having minus 28 by 35 and minus 25 by 35. So minus 25 will be here and minus 28 will be here. So this is closer to the 0 and this is farther from the 0. That means this is greater. So in the negative numbers, if the number is smaller, then this is the bigger. And if the number is bigger, then that will be the smaller number. So like 28 is bigger, but because this is the negative one, 25 will be the bigger number. So this minus 25 by 35 representing minus 5 by 7. So minus 5 by 7 is the greater 1. Now comes to the part 3. In the part 3 we have minus 7 by 8 and 14 by 16. Now I am going to write here this is 14 by 16. Now if I am going to multiply 8 by 2 then this will become 16. 16 is already here. So if you are multiplying the denominator, I am going to multiply the numerator also. This is minus 14 by 8 to the 16. And this is already 14 by minus 16. So I can write this negative in the numerator. So this is minus 14 by 16. So we have minus 14 by 16 and minus 14 by 16. So they are equal. So I am going to put the sign here equal. Now comes to the part 4. In the part 4 we have minus 8 by 5 and minus 7 by 4. So the same I am going to multiply it by the each other's denominator. So this is 8 4 is a 32 and 5 4 is a 20 and this is 5 7 is a 35 and 5 4 is a 20. So we are having minus 32 by 20 and minus 35 by 30 as we know that in the negative number smaller is the greater number so minus 32 by 20 is the greater and this is representing minus 8 by 5 so 8 by 5 is the greater number so now comes to the part 5 in the part 5 we have 1 by minus 3 and minus 1 by 4 so I am going to multiplied by the each other's denominator so this is 4 by minus 12 and 3 ones are 3 and 4 threes are 12 now i'm going to write this negative number in the numerator so this is minus 4 by 12 and this is minus 3 by 12 so in the negative smaller is the greater number so minus 3 by 12 is greater number and this is representing minus 1 by 4 so this is the 
greater number. So this is the part 5. Now comes to the part 6. In the part 6 we have 5 by minus 11 and minus 5 by 11. So I am going to write this one in the this negative sign in the numerator then this is 5 by 11 minus 5 by 11 this one is also minus 5 by 11 so they are equal so I am going to put the sign here equal. Now comes to the part 7 this is 0 and minus 7 by 6 as we know that negative numbers are always smaller than the 0 so 0 is greater than the negative number. So this is the part 7 with this one we have completed the question number 8 in the next video we are going to start with the question number 9.